for me, living here in in, um, in Hamilton County in the Adirondacks, um, it's it's just been a different, whole different experience. I had worked in property management, managing multi-unit, multi-family properties for about 10 years in Denver um, and throughout the Western United States. I was working for IBM and I was uh, managing operations, IT operations for the Americas at the time. My parents owned this house for 15 years, roughly, before we bought it from them. We liked the availability of a lot of space uh, for our children and a, and a nice rural area. But what brought me to the baking was my daughter Hannah was diagnosed on the autistic spectrum. And one of the treatments we tried for her was a gluten-free, casein-free diet. At the time, the availability of products was nowhere near what it is now. So it was kind of a necessity to learn to bake. I just found that I really enjoyed it. And then maybe over the course of the past year, I started doing some cakes and cupcakes and more specialty decorating things and just kind of found my passion that I really just loved baking. And that kind of led us to uh, starting this uh, bakery up. You know, everyone said, you should start a bakery. They don't say start a bakery, get up at five. They just say start a bakery because we want to eat your stuff. So, <laughs> so that's what we did. And now we get up at five. <laughs> Where I was working at in in Denver, I was working at an IBM location, and uh, when our daughter came along, I started working from my home office and stopped going to the um, to the to the work site. When we moved out here to um, to Pasico, uh, it essentially continued the same way. We had high speed internet, we had DSL, and we had a phone line, and those were really the two things that I needed in order to keep communications with work and be able to do my job. Because the one thing that has been amazing up here is how receptive and supportive everyone has been of us starting businesses. They've supported us, you know, both in, you know, advice, good and bad, and also in, you know, being customers and just saying, you know, have you thought of trying this? My kids are very outdoorsy. They like to spend a lot of time outside, which we have the availability of. They you know, have a big yard, like I said, that we might not have access to. Um, they do swim lessons up here. Uh, the town runs four days a week over at the lake, so they get, we do swim lessons with our kids. In the winter, there's sledding, mm -hmm. snowmobiling, skiing. It's just, uh, there's a whole array of outdoor activities up here that we have easy access to. The education system <laughs> has, been, has been phenomenal, especially with our daughter Hannah and her special needs. Uh, we worked with, um, with, uh, with the county and, um, and Lake Pleasant School, as well as Basico School, to um, come up with a program that would help her um, progress and, uh, and eventually become one of, the norm, one of the regular students. It's really a community-based school, is how I would describe it. I really feel like um, the schools up here, you, you are part of your, your kids' education. Having the jobs that we have, being at home, allows us to be around our kids, and that's a big thing for us. Um, the, there's also events in the community. I was always that parent when we lived in Denver with my daughter that was afraid to walk away from the car or afraid to stop or afraid to be at a stoplight sometimes in certain areas. Here, you can be comfortable that you can be you know, in a, a, in a nice environment and, and know that you live, you know, in a yeah. family area. They, they play around the house and they, they enjoy being outside. And one of the things that we have the benefit of is seeing wildlife come by the house. We have the, when there's deer or turkey, yeah. the kids run to the window and they sit and they explore. With, you know, nature being so available, I think you really feel connected to your environment and it makes, it just gives you this feeling of peace to know that you're kind of surrounded by nature. I feel happy to be here. I feel joy that I can get to know my neighbors and that I can talk to someone and that my kids can walk to the lake. People have the ability to work from home, then they may want to take the opportunity to see where else they can work. Um, there is technology here in the Adirondacks that allows people to be connected to the internet and allows them to be connected to other businesses um, throughout the world. Make sure it's something you love. Um, and if you're lucky enough to, to find something you love that you think you can start a business at, I say go for it. And they love it here. I can't imagine if I tried to move my kids to a city, I don't think they would uh, adapt to it very well at this point. Yeah, I think we're here for the long term. Yeah. <laughs>